Columbia Generating Station is the Northwest's only nuclear power plant. Online since 1984 and located about 10 miles north of Richland, it produces enough electricity to power approximately 1 million Northwest homes. Columbia is operated by Energy Northwest, a public power joint operating agency made up of more than two dozen public utilities from across Washington State. For more than 50 years, Energy Northwest has been committed to providing reliable, affordable, environmentally responsible power for the Northwest. We do this by maintaining a diverse portfolio of generation sources, including nuclear, wind, hydroelectric, and solar. Power from each of those projects is provided to utilities at the cost it takes us to produce it. We also continually explore options for developing new and emerging energy generation projects. Columbia is a boiling water reactor. Nuclear fission is used to heat water into steam. For fuel, we use pellets of uranium, much like these simulated pellets. Each pellet contains as much energy as nearly a ton of coal, 149 gallons of oil, or more than 17 million BTUs of natural gas. The pellets are stacked inside fuel rods and gathered into fuel bundles. The bundles are then inserted into fuel assemblies. This model shows how the fuel assembly fits together. The actual fuel assemblies, all 764 of them, are each almost 15 feet long. We submerge the assemblies in highly purified water in the reactor along with 185 control rods. The fuel and control rods together are called the reactor core. In the control room, a team of exceptionally skilled reactor operators begins the fission process by slowly moving control rods out of the core, starting a chain reaction. The heat produced by this reaction boils water within the reactor core and makes steam. The entire system is closely monitored and controlled 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Steam from the reactor vessel is used to turn four large turbines attached to a large generator. Together, they turn 1,800 times each minute, producing about 1,150 megawatts of full-time or baseload electricity. As the steam leaves the turbines, it's cooled back into water in a special heat exchanger called the condenser. The condenser is filled with thousands of small pipes like you see here. This condenser module is getting ready to be installed. All these pipes are flowing with cool water from the Columbia River. As the hot steam passes by the outside of these cool pipes, it's condensed back into water. The water inside the pipes absorbs a lot of heat, so we have six large cooling towers to remove that extra heat. Hot water from the condenser is pumped into large canals at the top of each cooling tower. From here, the water is allowed to fall down across special inserts called cooling tower fill. Large fans blow air across the water, causing the heat to evaporate into the atmosphere as steam. At the bottom of the towers, the cool water is collected and pumped back to the condenser to be used again. Columbia Generating Station produces a tremendous amount of electricity from nuclear fuel. But like any fuel, eventually it starts to run out of energy and we have to replenish the supply. Every two years, we shut down the reactor to conduct a refueling outage. Right now I'm standing on the refueling floor and you can see the top of the reactor vessel behind me. During normal operations, things out here are relatively quiet. But during a refueling, this entire floor is transformed into a strictly controlled and highly choreographed work area. During each outage, we remove the layers of shielding and various components of the reactor vessel and then flood the open cavity with water. Using very detailed procedures, operators move the oldest fuel, which has been in the reactor core for about six years, into a pool of water adjacent to the reactor vessel. The remaining fuel is repositioned and new fuel is added to create the best configuration for energy generation. The outage is also an opportunity to do maintenance and upgrades on other equipment that isn't accessible when the plant is operating. It's a busy time for everyone as we move through actions and activities that have been in the planning process for almost two years. Thorough planning and attention to detail help ensure the work is done safely and efficiently. This is vitally important so that Columbia Generating Station can be brought back online to provide the region much needed electricity for another two year run.
The fuel moved out of the reactor core during the refueling outages is called used fuel. It's often referred to as spent fuel, but that's a misconception. After six years in the reactor core, the used fuel still contains about 95% of its energy potential. It could be recycled and reused, as they do in France and Great Britain, but it's not currently done in the U.S. In France, where nuclear power provides 80% of that country's energy, the used fuel is recycled and reused, minimizing the amount of material volume that will ultimately require long-term disposal. Until recycling becomes reality in our country, the used fuel must be stored on site. This happens every five to six years when we remove the used fuel from the storage basin, where it has been safely stored underwater, and place it into dry, above-ground storage. The fuel is housed in large steel and concrete lined casks and then brought here to the Independent Spent Fuel Storage Installation or ISFACI. There are currently 27 casks of fuel stored here at the ISFACI site. The next used fuel storage campaign is scheduled for 2014. The stored fuel will remain safely and securely on site until a national repository is built or until the recycling of used fuel becomes available in the United States. Columbia is a tremendous example of technology, engineering, and safety, but the heart and soul of our plant is the people who work here. From reactor operators to engineers, chemists to craft workers, health physics specialists to security officers, each person understands and is committed to their role in keeping the plant running. Human performance is a key element in our success and we're proud of the many talented individuals who are part of our team. Thank you for taking time to learn more about Columbia Generating Station. We hope you've enjoyed this insider's look at one of the Northwest's most valuable energy resources.